Hey, scientists. It's me, scientist Caleb, and my brother, lab assistant Luke. Now, today's experiments are very dangerous, so it is important that what you're going to see today, you do not try at home. For our safety, we're going to have lab assistant Luke go into the super secret safe zone when we are about to do the experiments. But before we do that, I need him to help me make our first experiment. He's going to mix it with me. What we're going to do is called a whoosh jug. So we're going to use a five gallon water jug that's been emptied out and it's dry. And then a little bit of what's known as ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is very, very flammable. So with the smallest spark, it'll light up and make a huge fire. Luke is very excited. So Luke, I need you to help me pour this into here. You ready? Ready? Let's pour it into this bottle. Good job. Great job. All right, Luke. You got a piece of science cheese. Some science cheese, awesome. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it around a little bit. What that's gonna do, it's gonna get the vapors of the ethyl alcohol all moving around and the vapors, they're gonna light very easily when we get some fire on them. So now we'll mix it around. We're gonna mix it around a little bit, you know, just get it all in there, get it mixed up. Make sure that the vapor is all in there. All right. Now, before we send Luke to the super secret safe zone, Luke, is something going to happen when we put fire into this jug? Luke says yes. All right, guys, at home, I need your help. We need to send Luke to the super secret safe zone so he's safe from this experiment. So on the count of three, I need you to snap one of your hands. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, um, so it appears I ended up in the secret, super secret safe zone and Luke is still back in our science lab. So what we're gonna need to do, I think, is to switch it back. I'm gonna need everyone to snap with two fingers. Let's hope that switches us back. So on the count of three, snap two fingers. One, two, three. All right, so it looks like things are back to normal. I'm in the science lab. Luke is in our super secret safe zone to keep him protected from this experiment. Now this experiment is very dangerous, so I need to remind you, do not try this at home. Luke is in the safe zone for his protection. So in order to do this, this experiment, I'm going to take the safety precautions I need to. So I'm going to wear my safety goggles and I'm going to have my very important fireproof gloves to keep my hands protected. So what we did, we got all the vapors moving around in there. Now we're going to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to take two matches with a little bit of some tongs. And I'm going to light the matches up on fire. I'm going to let them burn for a second. I'm going to put on my super important fire safety gloves. Now let's see what happens when I drop them. <laughs> Alright, it's cooled down. Alright. And it goes back to normal. So, what just happened? Well, when you mix the ethyl alcohol vapors with the, the heat from the fire, they ignite and they make a fire. And we're gonna show you that right here. We did this one in the dark so that it's easier to see the flame. Hello. All right, so as you see, the flame ignites and it makes a big fireball. There's also that loud whoosh. Now, what was that loud noise? That was the heated air inside the jug sucking in the air from outside and it causes the air to expand when it heats up. Now there's a second little noise, it's a little puff kind of, and what that is, 
is the air starts to cool down and when it's cooling down it makes that puff because it's releasing air now i put my glove on then i put my hand over the jar and as you saw it started to crush and that's because the atmospheric pressure reacts with the cooling air and it causes it to crush so now we're going to bring back luke from the safe zone and snap our fingers on three and he'll come back with me one two three all right, perfect, it worked. Luke is back from our super secret safe zone. And I think he deserves some science cheese. There you go, dude. All right, so the next experiment does not involve fire, but we're gonna clean up from our last one. We're gonna do Hello. another chemical reaction. This one involves 30 volume hydrogen peroxide. Now what this is, is it's hydrogen peroxide that's a lot stronger and there's more oxygen in it. We will need a little bit of dish soap. Dish soap. And we're gonna need a chemical known as potassium iodide. So what we're gonna do is first, Luke, you're gonna help me put a little bit of dish soap in the container. Good job, dude. A little more. All right. Next, now before we mix in the potassium iodide, Luke, when I mix in the potassium iodide, is something gonna happen? Yes. Luke says yes. I think that's good for another piece of science cheese. So, we're gonna take the potassium iodide and we're gonna mix it in. We're gonna put it in the... All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, immediately you see it's starting to bubble up. It's turned, it changed from a blue liquid to a yellow, a yellowy red kind of liquid. And look, it's immediately just expanding. It's becoming this foam. Now this is very hot, so I'm not gonna to touch it when the, the hydrogen peroxide and the potassium iodide mix together they become very hot. It's known as exothermic. So I'm not going to touch that because it's not safe to touch. We can look at it and we can watch as it look. It's just coming out. It's going to expand and get bigger. Wow, that is so cool. That is so cool. So what is happening? It's similar to the elephant toothpaste that we did last week where there's a lot of oxygen in the hydrogen peroxide and when you pour in the potassium iodide, it traps that oxygen. And what happens is it starts to expand and the bubbles from the soap expand with it because they have nowhere to go. So it's making this big foamy, look at it, it's still going. It makes this big foamy mess. All right. So scientists, remember, these experiments are not safe to do at home. We had Luke go to our super secret safe zone for our fire experiment. And it's important that you don't try these at home because you can get seriously hurt. All right, we'll see you guys next week for some more science.